Alright, hey guys, it's me, Chaff Grenade, obviously. Uh, back with more Star Ocean 3. Uh, last time we defeated Crossel, and now we have to prepare the Thunder Arrow to be attached to him. Now, I have to go to Game Facts to figure this out, but you have to talk to all of your teammates before you can advance the story. But see, the thing is, they don't tell you that in the game, so you might be wandering around in circles trying to figure out what to do. So yeah, I'm gonna go find everybody. And of course, Mirage is here. Don't care. Just want to keep keep going. Uh, I think I know where everybody is. I think. Okay, Nails here. Oh wait a second! I think there's something really funny in here. Okay, never mind. I thought there was this um, this book in someone's room. That's really funny. Okay. Uh. Oh, someone's in here. Who is it? I can't tell. Oh, quick. All right. Uh, Maria should be in here. Yep, there she is. I think all that's left is Albel and Roger. Um, I know Albel's out here. Just, you know, walk walking around. There we go. Useless garbage. And Roger should be in here. I think. Uh... Or he's in some store over here. I think it's in here. Nope. This could take a while. Nope. Well, once again, I'm off to a great start. Fantastic. Ah, he's gotta be in here. Aha! I was right! Yes, this is a cause worth fighting for. A cause called Advancement of the Plot. Okay, now that we've talked to everybody, we need to go back to uh, that that balcony that was overlooking the garden on the second floor. Uh, we should be getting close to the end of the first disc soon. Real soon. Excuse me? Here we go. That's a terrible ringtone. Keep in mind that there may be a Vendini ship lurking nearby. Could it there may be. Moment? It's obviously there. That will increase atmospheric friction, are you sure? Our enemy will have the same problem. Stay on your guard. Roger! No, Roger is at the, uh, grocery store. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's do this! Gonna save the world. Oh my God, those clouds look terrible. I've seen better CG on the PlayStation, you know, the PS One. They're using the in-game models. Three Vendini ships are closing in. Prepare for battle. We'll provide backup down here. Backup with what? There's no time to explain. Just hang in there. We'll cover you from here. Roger! No, Roger isn't here. Stop calling his name. And 
pretty sure they totally remodeled that cannon. It wasn't supposed to look like that originally. That was like a freaking Panzer Dragoon. Procell, head towards that huge object over there. Yes, Lee One. Okay, fire when you get within range. Got it. Don't give up. Keep firing. I know. I'm trying. Try harder. There you go. Ah, come on and blow up already. Don't worry. It must be working. Just keep it up. Yep. What was that? That wasn't the No. It wasn't the Diplo. I think they pulled it off. We did it? We did it. We've got a chance now. Of course they're retreating. They can't handle this. Your ships are no match for our dragons. Ah, crap. Captain, we're history unless we do something fast. Make a run for it. We're coming to help. Don't worry. We'll save you with our one dragon all by itself. And this is bad. Crowsell, hurry. I am. Hurry faster. Diplo. What the heck? Okay, well... That's a good thing, right? Oh my god, that explosion looks so photoshopped. That was amazing. 2003, people. What? What was that? An explosion. That's what some people call it. Captain! Marietta! Are you okay? Yes, thankfully. Did you see that? What was it? Do we have a computer analysis? Hold on a second. Here it is. What? Is the data corrupted? I don't believe it. The computer says that narrow beam of light was packing an energy magnitude of 3.2. Did she say magnitude 3.2? That's not so bad. That can't be. Even the creation cannons on the latest Federation battleships can only emit an energy magnitude of 2 tops. So what the hell was it? Obviously a, a better Marietta, battleship. Can you determine the light beam's origin? No, Your battleships are inferior. Somewhere extremely far away. Even the Diplo sensors couldn't detect the source. Oh, hold on a second. Captain, our sensors have picked up multiple instances of the same type of energy reaction. They're all heading in the same direction. One of them is exceeding magnitude four. four. Magnitude four. four points of magnitude. Earth! An Aldian or Vendini weapon, maybe? Not a chance. Do you think a Vendini weapon could do what we just saw? Or an Aldian weapon for that matter? True. It's highly unlikely that either has an energy source exceeding the magnitude of creation. Energy. Science. But if it's some new weapon, we're in big trouble. I'm not even sure the Earth's planetary defense shield could block Great. it. Let's get back to the castle. We're wasting time here. You're right. Marietta, give me a damage report on the Diplo. Gravitic warp engine's been damaged. Repairs should take about six hours. We ain't got six hours. Do it in four. I have a bad feeling. You know what, better yet? Do it in two. Roger. We'll try our Roger best. isn't here, Marietta. I'm counting on you. Understood. <laughs> Fade to black. Uh, there's really not much going on right now. Your Majesty, it's time for us to leave your world. With the fleet destroyed, I hope things here will return to normal. They won't. As do we. I am very sorry for causing all this trouble. On the contrary, we have learned that there are entire civilizations out there beyond our world. 
And we have learned this is not the time for foolish struggles between our countries. Yes, save your struggles for spring. Precisely. In order to avoid bringing the final prophecy of Apris to fruition in its worst form, we must not wage war. We must wage love. Indeed. Okay, everyone, we're off. Again, I'm sorry for all the trouble. Yeah, we're sorry we got a whole bunch of your people killed. Our time together was brief. I'm glad too. I'm glad Apris granted me the opportunity to meet you all. I wish you could. Aww. Unfortunately, that's not an option. As you have your world, we have ours as well. Mm -hmm. I thought you might say something of the kind. I pray for your success in rescuing your father. Thanks. It's me. The repairs are complete, ma'am. Already? That was Yeah, that was like two minutes. We did our best. She is the best. Thanks. I owe you one. Be ready to receive four via transportation in one minute. Roger. I'm not gonna say it anymore. <laughs> it's not a good joke. <sighs> Peace. Yes, keep bowing. Farewell. Is that all you have to say? Could have said something a bit more meaningful. Make our paths cross again in the future. Or something like that. Welcome back, Captain. Good work, everyone. I'm so happy you made it back safely. I've been worried sick. I haven't been able to sleep. This dude sounds way. fabulous. No time for chit chat. Any <clears throat> progress analyzing that energy? Uh, yeah. It appears that blast of energy came from neither Federation, Aldian, nor Vindini forces. How do you know? Because that? he just told you. We don't have much information Fox right girl. now, oh. but according to intercepted communications, all three groups are currently under attack by another entity. From where? Don't know yet. There are limits to the communications we can intercept at this distance. Marietta is continuing to analyze the data. I don't know if they're friend or foe, but they sure did a number on those Vendini. Let's take advantage of the situation. Yep, the enemy of my and enemy could also be my enemy as else. well. Leave it to me! I'm going to the bridge. Yes, we are now on the dip low. Look how lame and boring it looks. Just like a real ship. Yeah! Okay, we gotta go to the bridge, I guess. See what Maria's up to. Oh god, the, uh, the AC is running in, and it's so loud. I'm back, people. We're behind schedule on our objective to secure Dr. Line God. Let's proceed as planned to point F317. All hands stand by. Right! Wait a second. Secure Dr. Line God? So you know where my father is? That's right. He's being held in a cave on a planet located at point F317. You knew all this the whole time? It's been cleverly disguised, but it's a secret Vendini base. Why didn't you go get him first? Tell me what to do. Oh, okay. Gosh. Set a course to point F317 via gravitic warp. Break out of orbit with one quarter thrust. Technological okay. babble. If she knew where my dad was, why did we have to wait until now to go get him? Could she not have gone and, you know, picked him up and then, you know, got me? Whatever. At least we're finally off this backwater planet. Going into space. 
doing space things that space people do in space. Like hovering. Yes, I would like to save. Thank you for asking. That's a look for you. Yes. Mm hmm. Yep. Alright, well, that is the end of the first disc. I don't know why I hesitated there. Uh, yeah, so. I mean, I'll pick up on the second disc later, but I'm gonna try and work on other things, like I gotta finish editing Mirror's Edge, and finish, I mean, I mean, continue with the, uh, the Joan of Arc playthrough, and yes, I will be getting back into my Ape Escape remixes, so, cause I know people have been, have been waiting on those, and I've been kinda leaving people hanging on that. So, yeah, I'm gonna stop here for now, I'll get back into this later on, so, uh, for those of you who've been watching up until now, thank you for watching. Those who haven't been watching, hi!